Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad. Welcome to Rad Kutzarot, and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and uh, Scorpio Rising weekly tarot reading April 15 to April 21st, 2019. And uh, as I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for Scorpio Star Sign. And uh, for that reason, the reading itself is going to uh, relate to different stuff and as well is going to resonate in a different way with uh, every single different Scorpio. But if you do want uh, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to tell you what is going to happen with it uh, for the future, that is a subject of a private reading and uh, for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and uh, there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. So that being said aside guys, going to the Scorpio general tarot reading for the week, the first card for Scorpio, which is the topic of their week, that, that is going to be the, the uh, Knight of Cups, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation, toward the Knight of Cups, Cups itself, that is going to be the Queen of Wands. Third card, that is going to be the positive approach toward the situation, this is the uh, Hangman, and the last one, which is the final outcome of growth, should you follow here the guidance of Tarot, that is the Five of Cups. So once again, Knights of Cups is the first card, followed by the Queen of Wands, which is the second. Then it is the Hangman, which is the third. And then the last one that is going to be the Five of Cups. So Scorpio, uh, this week is going to revolve around a, a person that manifests for you. That is described here by the topic, which is the Knights of Cups. And this is very uh, emotionally oriented, oriented person, most likely a male. It could be as well a female, though. So that person always follows the dreams of their heart. They don't do things that they don't like to do. They don't chase things that they don't have emotional connection into. So that person could manifest as a suitor, it could manifest as your girlfriend or, or as your boyfriend, or simply it could manifest itself as well as a co-worker or a business partner. But whatever the manifestation of this person is, they definitely want to, do, want to have something with you. Now, the thing with this guy or a girl here is that they don't allow the situation to happen by a chance but the result that they are getting is only based on their hard work. Therefore, you are going to start seeing from the very start of the week itself, their, um, their interest in you, should I say it that way. So if that's a suitor, that person is going to try to keep up the communication with you, all right? They will try to make an impression into you, uh, try to spend time with you, and so on and so forth. Same thing goes regarding career-wise as well. The Knights of Cups as well, it's a very good and positive card when one is striving to expand on their skills and on their qualification in general. So if you are thinking about, you know, um, adopting, for example, signing up for classes, for courses, or in general for some sort of an education, addition, additional education, that week is a, a very good week for you to do so, if possible, as the Knights of Cups, it's a, a very, very potent card for that direction. Now, the accompanied card that is going to be the full, the formation here, it is a uh, passive neutrals, and uh, it does seem that you already know that guy with the full card, or that girl that is with the full card. Um, <clears throat> As, a, as, such a, uh, as such a combination, meaning that they are not gonna simply pop up out of nowhere. And uh, with, uh, how can I place it? Your interaction with these, uh, with that person is not gonna be a risky one in any way, but it's going, but the, the whole manifestation or the whole results of that interactions are, are going to be quite predictable. And from that standpoint, uh, annoying a bit because maybe you Scorpio are hoping for uh, something new to come on the horizon but as these cards are a, a neutral cards 
you can go for the new but you will have to sacrifice the knight okay and that is very well displayed here with the final two cards of the spread as well uh, until the fool came around uh, I, I was very uh, kind of like apprehensive on the um, hangman and the five of cups at the end of the spread but now I know what they mean they we're talking about the sacrifice here so uh, you will have to decide which way you want to you want to go for it from now on should you go for the new uh, that can manifest for you but it may not as well or should you bet on the secure here and try to develop whatever that person it is offering to you with their interaction and with their and with the showing of their interest as well and uh, the, these cards here that i do have as a follow-up uh, are kind of advising you scorpio or is adv are advising us scorpios because i'm a scorpio as well to give the man or the woman a, a chance uh, that could be seen here as a hint in the queen of wands and the queen of wands as a negative approach toward the situation shows our uh, confidence or rather self-confidence and the um how can i place it the attitude of being above their level so if i have to display it with a and an example let's say that you do have someone that shows interest in you and you play that game of being unaccessible kind of always busy not answering the call not replaying the text messages and so on and so forth just so you can see how far that person is willing to go well they are willing to go as far as it needs to you know but you need to know as well that everybody has their own limits and uh, the longer you deflect you know the attitude of the knights of cups the more um the more lack of um, determination they are going to have to continue on chasing so while it is good you know to kind of like keep up the spark in there by sh presenting yourself a bit inaccessible for them especially if we're talking about a um a love interest here uh, eventually you will have to give them a hint should you be interested in them as well that because they need to have a reason as well to move on I, as i said the knight always uh, counts on their personal efforts for the results that they're that they are getting and if their results doesn't yield if their uh, efforts excuse me doesn't yield any results then uh, they will simply going to abandon this uh, undertaking or in other words abandon you uh, the accompanied card with the queen of wands that is going to be the queen of cups the uh, formation is active uh, enemies so uh, with the active enemies here of these couple of queens of queens you will have to take a moment and you will have to take a break really to think of or try to find out what you feel now as this person manifests maybe you are going to be a bit confused and a bit baffled you know of your emotions especially if you do have a recent breakup or a recent failure into a uh, into your business that is you may feel um, apprehensive of committing once again with someone else okay or maybe you still will have a thing for your ex or for your previous partner and so on and so forth uh, but um, that's why, like I said, it will benefit you if you take a bit of a break here or kind of like a bit of time to truly uh, try to indulge into your emotions and see how your emotions really scale with this new one coming on the front. Does his or her appearance uh, makes you feel happy? Um, in any way either career wise or either relationship wise as well because uh, these couple of cards here the queen the, the couple of queens asks you to follow your your emotions in the sense of that you need to cherish your emotions and through them you're going to find yourself transformed but because they are in a negative position um, <clears throat> your initial emotions are not what you think you are or rather like your emotions are not the one that is, they are not what you think you are. I, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, the thing is that you may think you love someone and it may turn out if you take a moment to truly indulge in your emotions, you may 
find out that this is just a yearning it's no more than that it's not love okay so have a bit more patience with with yourself and try to um Become in tune, becoming one uh, with uh, with your emotional state that is, and that emotional state needs to as well fully um, resonate with uh, what is possible in front of you. And what is possible currently is either this person or a new beginning. Okay, reconciliation with an old one. I don't think so, especially with the with with the five of cups at the end here at least at that stage at least for this week okay so uh, if you hope for reconciliation maybe you want to wait for the next week to come around or the week after the next one so the uh <clears throat> positive approach toward the situation hangman just like i said you know take your time hangman it is about waiting because um if you are feeling um baffled if you are feeling confused about what you're aware your emotions are how they're uh, expressing themselves and so on and so forth with the hangman here should you have the patience to wait and do exactly nothing the obvious the right choice excuse me or uh, <clears throat> the right way to express your emotions toward the right person is going to become obvious to you because with the hangman if you face a wall if you face difficulties only thing that you do uh, that you need to do guys is just wait okay and your issues especially emotional issues as the hangman is as well a watery card are going to resolve themselves on their own accord additionally to that the hangman asks you to obtain different different perspective here as the man is hanging upside down seeing the world upside down therefore seeing it in a different perspective it is a another sign that throughout this week you should strive away from reconciliation or from reviving an old business and rather think about what new opportunities or new or unexplored opportunities because there are different unexplored opportunities means that these opportunities are not new opportunities they are around you you haven't yet capitalized on them while new opportunities are those that you are to create from now moving on forward okay so you do have those couple but not to revive a an old opportunity that have failed or uh, the relationship with old person that have failed at least throughout this week you know and so on and so forth the accompanied card of the hangman that is going to be the strength so the the uh, combination here it is a, a passive uh, enemies once again and uh, you will need to make uh, with this uh, with this combination here you need to make uh, the world aware of uh, where your heart lies and in general what you want for yourself uh, so uh, if you want to be uh, in a relationship you need to make the world uh, aware that you want to be in a relationship meaning you know display yourself as single I mean, nobody is going to approach you if you don't give a hint or rather like if you don't show yourself as a single person ready to start a relationship with someone. For example, if you want to start a business with someone, that's the same thing. You need to show that you are ready as well to do so. The strength card here as a combination points that uh, you need a cooperation as the strength points that one is um, <clears throat> capable on its own accord here uh, with this combo you are going to achieve a much greater height if you go along with a team or with a cooperation with someone as well so uh, before we go to the last card let's just recap what we said until this uh, until this moment <clears throat> so for you scorpio uh, this week will revolve will revolve around either a person or a, a new beginning. You will have to decide either one of these. But once you decide which one, you will have to sacrifice the other. You cannot have both. While the cards, uh, the tarot is advising you to take the current opportunity, which is the person. If that doesn't suit you, you can go for the new beginning but you should definitely at least consider you know trying to manifest whatever that person is trying to manifest in your life as well and um, <clears throat> in case you know you're finding in a place of stagnation where nothing is working out only thing that you will have to do 
from now on guys it is just wait patiently as you are to see that things are going to resolve on their own accord as soon as you associate yourself with that person knight of wands that is a another reason why you should um associate yourself with uh, with the knights knight of cups excuse me so with the knights of cups as the very least they are uh, the knight of cups is going to uh, contribute in a sense with with performance that is either to your project or will really try to make a, a relationship working out in a sense of that even if they don't fit with your criteria they will do whatever they can in order to uh, change themselves or readopt themselves to fit better with your criteria and uh, at the end what we do have that is going to be the five of cups as a final outcome of growth and the five of cups here says nothing more than you are to see that uh, life or not life but not everything was lost uh, usually this is a, a very positive card especially if one is going through a, a very very hard time if it falls into the final outcome of growth one realizes like i said that not everything is lost and what one lost it is just a, a partial loss and one is yet to prove himself and one is yet to obtain benefits to uh, become happy into one relationship or marriage or to become as well lucrative into one career at the end of the week scorpio we are seeing you being lifted up in spirit knowing that the best is yet to come with the five of cups and it's kind of like a, a emotional liberation if you see here the three cups which fell down on the um on the ground with spilled content outside of them these are the noxious emotions you had until this very moment and what is left here it is the two cups standing up uh, upright with the pure emotions field inside and only thing that you will have to do is just turn yourself around and attend to them instead of looking at those three cups which uh, fell down on the ground the accompanied card here with the uh, five of cups that is going to be the ace of swords the formation is passive neutrals and um, uh, at that point everything will be uh, much clearer to you in a sense of that you will not have to think much about your situation that involves this person or either the new beginning as a neutral card as well the uh this combo points that there won't be any um extreme efforts that you will have to put behind either the relationship with this person or the cooperation as well if we are talking about your career it is because they are going to be quite elaborative quite milder as well and they will try to make you feel comfortable also seeing what you have been through until this very moment and as well they will acknowledge that you do have a great deal of experience as the ace of swords is accompanied with uh, the thing here is that um, with these couple of cards is that it is unlikely that you will allow the same thing to happen twice. I mean the thing that led you here while it is on the benefit end it is um, like I said unlikely that you will allow to go through that thing again once or once again. Yeah. So uh, it's, uh, it's kind of like a big, uh, a big lesson that you will have to learn, uh, which at the end, you know, turns on the positive end for you. Uh, and it starts with the manifestation of the Knight of Cups, which could be your uh, suitor, business partner, or a faithful co-worker uh, willing to develop that project with you or to create that relationship with you and so on and so forth. It is just, it is up to you to give a man or the girl a, a chance, but you can go for something new although this new thing is not going to manifest for you this week guys just so you know and you will have to sacrifice the knight of cups which is this lovely person which truly plays their heart in your in your fistfuls or in your hands so that being said uh scorpios this was your weekly tarot reading april 15 to april 21st 2019 i hope you enjoyed it guys 
and you liked it and um, as per usual this was a, a general reading for Scorpio star sign and for that reason the reading itself is going to relate to different things and is going to resonate in a different way with every single different Scorpio but should you want a private reading in which we are going to um, analyze your personal situation and I'm going to tell you what is going to happen with it in its future uh, that is the subject of the private reading of um, obviously and uh, for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. Rat signing out now, see you next time. Bye!